Today on the Stay at Home Chef, we're doing a review of the plated meal service. I'm sure you've heard about these boxed meal services. Today I'm partnering with Plated to do a review of their boxed meal service where everything you need to make dinner comes in one box. Is it any good? We need to find out. I have three questions. Number one, are the ingredients fresh? This is really important to me. Are those ingredients any good? Number two, are the recipes easy to follow? Can I follow their instructions and get dinner on the table in a convenient way? And number three, does it taste good? That's the most important part. Let's find out. All of the ingredients I need were delivered fresh to my doorstep in that box back there. It also came with these three recipe cards that also include the instructions on the back. We're gonna start out with this seared steak with bell pepper panzanella. Just like any other time you're cooking, you should read through the entire recipe before starting, and then we'll go ahead and start with step number one. Now the first thing I need to do is prepare my ingredients, which makes a lot of sense. I need to cut things up. The first thing I need to cut up are bell peppers. I cut up some bell peppers, we have some arugula here, I cut up some ciabatta bread, and we have some parsley. Let's see how this compares to the picture in the instructions. It pretty much looks just like the picture. Next, I'm supposed to toss the ciabatta with a little bit of olive oil and salt and pepper and toast it in the oven. It toasts in a 400 degree oven for about 10 minutes. While the bread is toasting, we can mince some garlic, and place that into a bowl, along with three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, some red wine vinegar that they sent to you, and some capers. We'll whisk that together. And that's gonna be our vinaigrette. Our bread is almost done toasting. And we'll just put the toasted bread in with our vinaigrette. Then wipe off the pan, put your bell peppers on, drizzle those with some olive oil, salt and pepper, and then roast those at 425 degrees for 10 minutes. It's starting to smell pretty good in here and everything's been easy so far. While the bell peppers are roasting, we can make our steaks. You wanna cook the seasoned steaks in a skillet with some olive oil in it over medium high heat for about four to five minutes per side. Now our steaks are all slightly different thicknesses, so you wanna keep an eye on that. The thicker steaks need a little bit longer to cook. Once the steaks are finished cooking, you'll want to let them rest. Meanwhile, we'll add in our roasted bell peppers with our ciabatta and vinaigrette. Then add in our arugula along with our parsley, and some shaved Parmesan cheese, and then toss this all together. This salad is actually a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. I even had to transfer it to a larger bowl. Once the steaks are done resting, then we can slice them and serve them up on a plate with a salad on the side. Looks pretty good to me. What do you think? Does it look like the picture? I think it's pretty close, actually. Next, we're gonna make our dessert. Once again, read through all of the instructions on the recipe card first. So I guess we start by cutting up some pound cake. This all came cooked, and it's a little strange because it looks like it's already been cut into. It's like two-thirds of a pound cake. It says to cut this into bite-sized pieces, so I'm gonna slice it, and then I'll take each piece and cut it into little pieces. And I'm gonna actually sneak a piece because I wanna know what this pound cake tastes like. It's actually a pretty good pound cake. Then I zested a lemon and now I'm gonna juice it. Next I have six little jars of raspberry jam. Yes, six little jars. I have to admit that's a little bit strange but I understand that I need to have the exact right amount. Get all the jam into a bowl, then add in the lemon zest, the lemon juice, and stir together. All right, set the lemony jam mixture aside and then we have some chocolate chips. White chocolate chips, I should say, and we're gonna put those in a bowl. And then I'm gonna melt these in the microwave in 30 second intervals, stirring in between. There we have our melty white chocolate. The last thing we have to do before assembling our parfaits is to make our whipped cream. Now, the recipe instructions has you doing it with a whisk, but I'm totally gonna cheat. I'm using a hand mixer because it is a lot easier. Pour the heavy cream in, get 
some powdered sugar, and then skip the whiskey and use a hand mixer. Once the cream is whipped, we're ready to assemble our parfaits. Place some pound cake into the bottom of a small glass. Add on a layer of that lemony raspberry jam. Give a nice dollop of whipped cream. And then keep the layers going with more pound cake, more jam and whipped cream. And then finish it off by drizzling on some of that melted white chocolate. Not bad, right? We have an entire plated meal plus a dessert, all from plated. Now, let's answer the questions we asked at the beginning. Number one was, were the ingredients fresh and were they good? I'd say the answer to that is yes. The second question was, were the recipes good and easy to follow? I found that the recipes were very thorough, which made it really easy to follow along. The third question was, does the food taste good? Well, it's time to find out. Let's start with the steak and panzanella salad. The meat was actually really tender and it's flavorful and delicious. I'd say that's a winner, but what about the salad? Healthy, fresh, tasty, flavorful. I like it. This is a winner. Now the dessert. I'm already pretty certain I'm gonna love it because what's not to love with those ingredients? I like this. If you want to check out Plated for yourself, which I definitely recommend, the food was good, then check out the video description for the link and use our special coupon code HOMECHEF20 for $20 off your first three orders. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow, and check out the rest of our videos where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.